In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. As you can see here, I have used these two vertical uh, rectangular shapes. When I click, it will show me the first option where I have added the step one. You can add the title along with the detailed text. Then here I have added the icon as well. And then I have given the shadow effect. So when I click with a different color combination, it will show you the option two, the option three, four and five likewise i have created few more uh, designs so you can see here i've added this background image which looks something like this one more i have used some colorful background here and here i have added only one uh, pillar or the post here all right and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this qr code and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes and from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe something like this shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to fill this with gradient fill for that right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to select fill and gradient fill and here we have got four stops so the first stop which i'm taking and i'm taking some light color here you can see and make the direction which is uh, something you can uh, choose the linear right or linear left and then i don't want this many all right so one more i'm going to take and i'm going to pick the same color and here i'm going to pick somewhat darker color all right so if the darker color is not there you can see here if it is not available you can just go to the more colors and then you can just simply drag this one down you can give more shaded color all right and here also you can do the same thing all right so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this now i'm going to hold the control shift key together and i'm just going to add one more the same shape here all right just make sure that there is an equal space given between this all right then go to insert shapes again select one rectangle draw a rectangle so depending on your requirement how many options you need based on that you can increase the the height of that one so let me just take this much height shape outline i'll make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white color now i would like to give some kind of uh, some you know a different color combination here some gray color so it looks like it is uh, getting folded in this one for that i'm going again i'm going to select the gradient fill and because we have used that's the reason it is coming like that so now i'll show you uh, the first select the first top go to the colors and just give some uh, dark color here and the th middle one i'm going to choose and i'm going to choose the white one and bring it the closer like this then i'm going to add one more again for this also i'm going to choose this color and for this corner the light the extreme uh, right you can just choose the same color here and then make it like this so just okay if i just increase the size you can see what exactly i'm trying to do i'm going to bring this more closer you can see here when i'm bringing if i move it you can see the color comes and here if i just move it inside so it looks like some kind of a folded uh, design here okay so let me just bring back all right so now i'm going to add one more rectangle here just to give a color combination kind of border effect shape outline i'll make it no outline and for this also you can give the gradient and here i don't want this many i want only two color stops so the first color i can give maybe a orange with a yellow combination so depending on your requirement how you want you can just add that one again if you want to give the same combination you can just do that also anyway let's go with this so once this is done i'm going to add a few of the details here like this one you can see here i'll add the step number the title and detail text along with the icon so let's do that one first of all go to insert text box and i'm going to type 01 
center align i'm going to use the font for uh, futura increase the size all right and i'm going to put it here and i'm going to give maybe a gray color all right and then i'm going to add one more option which is i'll just say zero one step again center align again choose the font whichever font which you feel better then go to insert shapes i'm going to choose a line draw one straight line by holding the shift key all right shape outline i'm going to give the same color and i'm going to place it here something like this all right and then you can add some title here all right make it bold you can reduce the size again you can give the same color or the color which you have used for that it depends on your requirement and then you can add some detailed text here equals a low rem within brackets one i don't want this much long text i'm going to delete this from the bottom again give some gray color reduce the font size and put it here and make sure that this is properly aligned so just align it properly and this side you can add some icons to it if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can use the icons so let me just use this icon click insert i will reduce the size to maybe 0.5 and i'm going to put it here all right so once this is done what i'm going to do i'm going to select all this object which i've created and press ctrl g2 group it then hold the ctrl shift key just drag it down all right and one more thing if you want to do you can add some shadow effect also for that go to insert shapes i can just add one shadow effect all right shape outline no outline and then you can give a black color and then you can increase somewhat transparency effect and you can go to the effects soft adjust increase the size okay so like this you can give some shadow effect and then just send this to back so you can see here i've just created one shadow effect so let me just delete this one and i will group once again press ctrl g to group it then hold the ctrl shift key just add one two three four and five so here the space is not there so i'm just going to make it somewhat up and then go to the shape format again align just say distribute vertically so equal space has been given so now once this is done you can just change that option number two three four and five and you can just give some different color combination for this one maybe i'm going to give a kind of a dark blue and i'm going to give some kind of a light blue so different color combinations can be given here again goes with the same with the text as well so again i'm going to give some different color combinations as you can see here and then you can change the icons according to your need so once this is done now what you can do is you can uh, add some animation so basic animation i'm going to use so go to the animations enable the animation pane select this option add animation go to more entrance effects i'm going to select stretch click ok if you play this one it comes like this or if you want you can just make it from right or from left also so if i play it comes like this now i'm going to just select the animation painter and click on this one so you can see here if i play it comes like this so that you can use the same animation effect for the rest of the options and change the color according to your requirement